these are the materials needed. First, alcohol, betadine, pencil, syringes, cotton, candle and lighter, egg. When no impregnated egg is available, a table egg can be used. Candler, distilled water, masking tape, and scissors. Prepare the egg. Clean the surface of the egg by wiping a cotton wet in alcohol to make sure the egg is free from any dirt. Allow the alcohol to evaporate. Using a candler, the egg is checked. An improvised candler can be used which is composed of an empty paper roll and a cellular phone torch. Place the blunt side of the egg onto the light source of the candler. Mark the air cell, the location of the embryo, and blood vessels of the embryonated egg. This will enable the handler to see the parts of the egg clearly and inoculate the virus properly. Disinfect the marked air cell with betadine and allow it to dry. Get the syringe and remove its cap. Identify a spot opposite the location of the embryo that will serve as your point of entry for allantoic inoculation of the virus. Pierce a hole on the shell with a needle and using twist and turn technique. Supposedly, an egg borer is used in this step, but due to the distant learning setting, an improvised egg borer or a syringe will suffice. Using another syringe, draw 0.1 milliliter of water that will serve as the inoculum. Insert the needle perpendicularly through the hole to a depth of at least 1.5 cm and deposit the inoculum. Withdraw the needle from the egg. The hole in the shell is sealed first with a small masking tape. Light a candle with a lighter. The melted candle can serve as melted wax that can double seal the hole.
This guarantees security to the egg when it is placed inside an incubator afterwards to inoculate the virus properly. Here, you can see that my egg has a smooth seal covering the hole. 